Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Tasha and I put out cleaning videos twice a month at the moment. Um, today I'm just going to be focusing on my bedroom, my master bedroom and my master bath. But the first thing I wanted to organize was my bedroom and get it all cleaned up and just nice and tidy. I went out and I purchased um, 36 of these six quart storage boxes. I have quite a bit of shoes that I want to try and organize in those bins and put them at the top of my closet. They're clear containers. I'll be able to see what shoes are in them, but that way they're nicely stacked and they're staying clean. Cause I have a few white pairs I want to make sure stay white. And I got like a bunch of sneaks and sandals and things like that. And I just haven't been liking the situation I have in the corner of the room with the pullout bins. So I'm going to try and organize this stuff, maybe move some of this stuff to those bins and then get my shoes put at the top of the closet. So today is going to be pretty much master bathroom, master bath, completely deep clean and organized. So come along with me for that if you're interested in some closet organization and want to see how my shoes turn out because I'm really excited to see if they fit in these boxes because I've seen people do it before and I want to see if I can do it too because I love the way it looks. It looks so clean and so put together that I want to see that done because I'm tired of all my shoes being all lined up in the dining room or in the laundry room or just all over the house in general. So let's go ahead and get started and get this mess cleaned up. I got three baskets of laundry to put away. I'm going to be stripping my bed to get that stuff washed. And then I'm going to also be dusting and doing all the, you know, deep cleaning things. So let's go ahead and jump into this.
I decided to get rid of my belt collection from Sheen. This is solely based off an article that I read about someone who had tested some products, like a, I think it was like a university or something, tested some products from Sheen, which was belts, certain um, like iron-on sticker graphic tees, and some other clothing, like, um, I don't know, that was like kids' jackets or something, and then also jewelry. They had tested it for lead, and it came it back positive. So I decided from here on out I will not be ordering from Sheen, and I will be getting rid of all the jewelry I purchased from them, the stained belts that I have, which is only like, I think every necklace I bought was $2, and every belt set I've gotten threes, so I'm out like $6 on that, so a total of like $8.00. And then Trevor also got rid of some of his iron-on graphics that he had as well. So we're only out a little bit of money because, of course, you guys know that Sheen is very, very affordable. It is, in my opinion, cheap, which doesn't surprise me that it tested positive for lead coming from China and also being very cheap and easy to get a hold of. So from here on out, I will not be ordering from them. just want to pass on that info in case you hadn't heard. I'm sure certain things are still okay from them, like my cotton dresses. They're 100% cotton. I'm going to keep those because I just don't feel that those really um, run a risk and it wasn't listed in the article of things that they tested that popped positive. So I'm going to keep a couple of things. If I start to see any kind of like skin reactions or any kind of things like that from the dresses and things I haven't worn or washed and stuff like that, I'll be getting of those things as well. But for now, I decided to go ahead and purge most of the Sheen stuff from my closet and so has my husband and we've gotten rid of almost all the Sheen things. Um, or we actually have gotten rid of everything that Sheen, the Tennyson has. So we're just getting rid of all the Sheen products since we read that article. I've been looking for a mirror And I think I find it in your eyes She's been looking for a reason And I think she found it in my mind So we're moving this colorful night And we're staying from the crowd and under the lights
Okay, so these are the bins of the shoes that I had over here in this thing. So I'm gonna get all of these and then all of these put into these six quart bins. I'm gonna start unloading all these and then we're gonna start going ahead and getting the shoes that'll fit. I'm, I'm assuming that most of them will fit besides boots inside those six quarts. So I'm gonna try and get as many shoes as I can to fit in those. And then whatever doesn't fit, I'll nicely stack at the top of my closet. I still gotta clear out the closet, but I wanted to clear out these bins first so that all this stuff that's up here can go into these bins nice and organized and be put in that corner versus being up here. And then after that, I have all my Christmas present stuff in here that I did the other day. So I'm gonna be pulling everything out of here after that, getting everything nice and vacuumed and wiped off and cleaned, just like at the top. We'll get this all nice and cleaned as well. And everything should be nice and organized. Right now I'm still in the process of keeping my hangers front ways and back ways. And I've worn quite a bit of my clothes because you can see a lot, but then you see like these giant sections where there's not a lot being used. So by the end of winter, I should be able to know what winter clothes or what like colder clothes I wore. And then I can just go ahead and start purging my closet um, sometime in 2022. Gosh, I can't believe it's already 2022. So we're gonna go ahead and start with this project first, and then we'll move on to the rest of the organizing and cleaning out of the closet. All I need to know is that we'll roll with the punches. As I was going through this, I was like, wow, these actually fit really well, like all my shoes. I wear a size six and recently started finding out that I also can fit into a size seven. But on the sticker for these boxes, it actually has a shoe, on, like a set of shoes on it. So they're te like technically meant for that. So it's perfect. And even my booties fit in here. The only ones that didn't fit as well as I wanted to were these green ones. I kind of smushed them a little. I'm hoping that doesn't really like hurt the shoes. I'm really hoping it doesn't because I don't wear them often. I think I've worn them like twice. They were given to me. I didn't buy them personally. Um, but I'm not really a high heel or a heeled boot kind of lady, but so far everything's fitting really nicely. I was hoping that like the front, like the shoe could sit up and the shoe would sit next to it. But for the most part, they'd have to kind of sit like they were in a shoe box. I really wanted to display the shoe at the front so you could see the front of the shoe, but it all worked out really well. And I know what the shoes are. I categorized them perfectly, so I'll go ahead and walk you guys through that in just a second. All right, so that went a lot smoother and faster than I thought it was going to. I ended up using 23 bins out of the 36 because I took my sandals and the ones that are like the same in style, I just kind of put them into a bit rather than having a bin for each singular sandal because it just kind of seemed like a waste of space. So I did that. I'll walk you guys through all the shoes that I put and why I did it in this order and then how they're going to go up in the closet. So I'm going to go from this side of the closet to that side of the closet. This side's going to be the most used and this side's going to be the least used because my chair sits here 
and I hate this side of my closet. Um, it's just kind of annoying to me. So I'm going to try, I always grab from this side because where most of my clothes are. So the most used shoes will go on this side and the least used shoes will go on that side. So to start on this side, I'm going to have like my little ankle booties. I have two pairs. I don't wear them often. And then the ones I really don't wear often, I have like my wedges, two pairs of wedges. And then I have like a booty pair of heels. And then these are all like my heels. I have one that has like the ankle wrappy things regular pair of black heels and I have a red pair of heels. And then I have my regular little flip flops. These are like what I call the Jesus shoes. They got all the straps that go across all of your feet and then they go around your ankle. And then down here is like the medallion ones. They all have some kind of decorative top of the foot um, emblem or something. And then down here, I just have um, these ones. And I'm gonna turn these around because I want that here i'll do it right now so let me do it i'm gonna do it like this instead it's like that so when it's closed it's really hard to do one handed and it's facing out you'll be able to see what the shoe is so that's the shoe right there so this is how they're gonna look with like the shoes that fit with one shoe looking in this way that's how it'll look um and then it starts with my sneaker collection. I love sneakers. I like Keds, Vans, Nikes, all that stuff. I've been buying from Target a lot lately, um, but I have these ones, just like little white sneakers. Um, they're kind of colorful. And then I have my plain white K-Swiss, some knockoff Keds, another pair of Chucks, and another pair of Chucks. And then I have these ones, and then I have like black ones. And then I'm probably going to toss these ones because they're real dirty. And then these are all Nike, so I just put them all over here. I just have like my white pair, my white, gray, and red, and then my black and pink. And then as I grow my collection, I'll just start buying these bins as I need them, and then just kind of add to whatnot. But that's about all I have left. I did get rid of two pairs of shoes, so we're on the right track of organizing and purging. And hopefully, um, by the time I get an organizing and purging, I'm like actually seeing stuff too. Like if I don't pull a bin out, the entire summer of like these ones then i'll probably just like get rid of like this like, i haven't worn those in forever so if i don't use those um at the end of this next summer i'm gonna toss this entire collection of shoes things like that so if i don't pull a pair of shoes i will definitely um get rid of them but so far like this is gonna look really nice at the top of the closet i think i'm only gonna go three high so this one one of these probably that one at the bottom will probably go on the top of this one and it'll just be like that like nice three all the way top of the closet doesn't that look so much better than those those stinky bins up there like they were just all on top of each other so I feel like this looks so much better so much okay so now that I know the shoes I laid out the bins on my bed across this way I'm gonna start pulling everything out I'm gonna lay it all this way on my bed and then I will figure out how to organize everything that comes out the top because out of true honesty I don't know what's up there and whether I need it or not. If it's something that I haven't even looked at or touched in God knows how long, I'm going to toss it. Like that's the mood I'm in right now is just get rid of things you don't need. I need you tonight. Together we can go crazy We can put out the lights Together we can go, we can go I look straight in your eyes And everything is so hazy It is just you and I And everything is so, thing is so So call me out, call me out, baby already so excited about the way this looks like look how clean isn't it like so appealing I don't know 
but I can see like all the shoes. I'm only going three high. I could do another fourth one if my collection continues to grow, which you know, shoes, that grows. Um, but I'm only going three high so I'm able to pull these down without like pummeling myself with a bunch of boxes. They do have a nice lip here that they sit nicely snug in. So when I pull them down, if you notice like they're not falling down on me. So I can pull the whole thing down and I can put it all back up. So really loving this so far. I have four more stacks to go and then I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done. All right, I know I said I was gonna do this, like purging my closet, but after sitting here staring at the beauty that is the boxes of shoes, I decided I know there is things inside this closet that I will not wear again. And I've pointed those things out to myself as I've gone through my clothes. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and put you guys in like hyper speed and pull items from my closet that I know I will never wear again and just go ahead and take it out like today's the day seize it like you know you're not gonna wear it take it out get rid of it like let's do it so that's what we're gonna do and then we gotta organize this stuff and I'll just take everything out of here I don't want to organize this stuff until I get everything out of the bottom of the closet in case I need to organize that stuff as well so that way I can categorize everything on the bed we have a pretty large bed so I have room to organize on the bed so let's do that because I, I can't keep looking at this mess of clothes with those beautiful boxes. So let's do that first real quick. Steps I take, so we just dance alone. Yeah, we dance like no one's watching. So call me out, call me out, baby. Hey, so call me out. Seven sweaters. So seven sweaters are gone from this section. So not bad. Like I, I can get down with that. Like there's more room here now. Um, oh, one pair of leggings, two pair of leggings. Those are cuddle duds, which is what this shirt is. The softest thing I think I've ever worn in my entire life. It's like butter. It's got like this super soft like material inside, and then outside it's like this like dry fit kind of material. It also has the nice little hole sleeves. I love them. I have the leggings to match, but um, my mother-in-law buys this stuff for me. She buys cuddle dud for me. I got cuddle dud blankets, I have cuddle dud clothes, and I love them. I love those leggings, but they were medium, and I dropped the last of my baby weight last summer, so those don't fit me anymore. My husband even tried to try them on. He was like, I'll wear them, and I was like, Try and squeeze yourself into them. Like they're tight, like they're they're tight, but um, they don't fit my waist. The actual waistband doesn't fit anymore. Like they fit a little loose in the legs and then like they're real loose in the, the top. So I had to get rid of those. And I've only worn them uh, once for one pair. One pair hasn't even been worn. So I'll get rid of those. I'll hand them off to another wife or another mama that needs them. I don't sell clothes anymore. And I don't try to find ways to make money off of my clothes. I just put it out as like a clothing purge on the Families Hope and Families page we have here. It's for base wide. If you need anything or want to give away anything, you either ask for something that you might need or people say, hey, I have this stuff, come get it. And they come get your stuff. And I think that's a great way to get rid of a lot of the clutter you have or excessive items you have. And I feel like sometimes it's easier just to give away the clothes than try to find someone who wants to pay for them or buy them or do Poshmark or whatever else it is. If you have high-end clothes, definitely get your money back. I don't have high-end clothes and I've had these clothes for years, so I'm not gonna try to make money off them. I'm just gonna 
find a mama that needs some extra clothes or maybe going through a size change and things like that. So I got rid of quite a few things. I'm not going to do my dresses yet because I don't know when I'm going to wear this summer. Um, so I did my sweaters and then my jeans and all the way up to my tank tops to my long sleeves and just pulled stuff. I'll show you the pile. It looks kind of crazy. So I'm really glad I did this. That's what I got rid of. So I'll count the pieces and put the number um, right here and tell you how much I got rid of, like how many pieces I got rid of. But that's a, a nice substantial pile, I think. And I'm just gonna give those away, not selling anything, just giving it away. Um, but yeah, having this giant gap here just for hangers is really not necessary. But knowing that I have space, I can take some of these hangers, move them down to the downstairs closet where the coats are, move them to my husband's closet, and then I'll have room to like space things out and like evenly um, proportion the clothes so they don't look so like stacked and staggered. So I might do that too, but not right now. I just want to keep continuing because I need to get this done and get the stuff off of the bed as well. So let's keep moving on. I think we're making progress and I'm feeling really good about my purging and my organizing. This is a big, huge step for me. I got rid of stuff. That is something I've been dreaming of for a very long time since I saw my mom's closet uh, when Tennyson had her first Christmas. My mom did this with the Dollar Tree bins, actually. I used the Sterilite ones from Target, but she used the Dollar Tree ones. Um, so literally, if you're looking for a cheaper way to do it, Dollar Tree has these exact bins. You typically find them where the nail stuff is like the nail polishes and things like that, you'll find these bins at the very bottom shelf. They'll have those. So if you're looking for these like six quart bins and a cheaper version, Dollar Tree. Definitely, definitely, definitely recommend. She did it. It looks fantastic in hers. She even has hers labeled, I think, and or at least organized in a weird fashion. I remember hers being so crazy organized. And I was just like, what? Her whole closet was. So let's get this stuff picked up. We'll pull everything out start organizing all the stuff on this bed and then get to vacuuming putting everything back and then i think we'll be done in the master for now
With these bins, I just organized one bin with like decorations that were up in the top of my closet, picture frames, things like that, stuff for the bathroom that hadn't been used. I'll show you a quick glimpse. This is kind of how it's categorized. A lot of this stuff is very boring organization, so I thought I'd just walk you through it and kind of cut the clips short. A lot of this stuff was my husband's, so I went downstairs and he looked through it and got rid of a lot of stuff. I think he only kept one Ziploc baggie of items. So we have one bin that is for decorations, one for workout slash after workout, rolling pins, balls, all the weird things my husband uses, and then heating pad and things like that. One other thing was memorabilia that had like photo albums that I haven't finished yet and some Father's Day gifts that I haven't finished, um, putting pictures into, and then like high school memorabilia. And then the last one was books and some computer accessories that don't fit into my desk. So overall, Super simple, four cube organization of things were the top of my bin, and then I got rid of a bunch of stuff as well as my husband did as well. The bottom of the closet turned out really well. I'll give you guys a full overview of the bedroom and everything after day two. Day two is me tackling the master bath. I didn't get it all done in one day. One, because of lighting. Two, because of family and you know regular mom life stuff kind of happens and not every time you can actually tackle a full project in one day. So moving on to day two, we're going to be tackling the master bath. Next to you, lies. Yeah, be waiting, waiting in silence to see a little bit of fire, but all I see is you.
soda and vinegar down it to like unclog it because it's kind of not running properly right now so i'm gonna go ahead and clean the whole shower and then i'm gonna pull the hair out the baking soda and stuff and then i'll clean the shower again or not the shower but the tub again after do that so let's go ahead and get started on getting the actual thing first round cleaned <laughs>
you're breaking your You're keeping up with steps I take So we just dance alone Yeah, we dance like no one's watching So call me out, call me out, baby In case anyone is ever curious, when I'm wearing gloves like this and I do disgusting things like this, I wash my gloves like I wash my hands because I am that person. Everything really grosses me out. This is probably the grossest my drain has been ever. Like I've gotten more ha hair out than this before, but the black stuff that came out was absolutely atrocious. It smelled exactly like potting soil to me or like dirt in general. So I went on Google to find out, like, why does my drain smell like dirt, like potting soil? And they said it was just the breakdown of soap scum, skin cells, hair, blah, 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 all this stuff, and it puts off that smell because my fear was black mold. I was like, I'm creating black mold with all the hair clog. No, it's just the, the smell it comes with. It smells like potting soil or soil in general, dirt, and it's just from the breakdown of the stuff that comes off your body when you are showering. much finished with the bathroom. I'm going to go ahead and mop the floors using a Swiffer just because it's what I have upstairs right now. I don't feel like going and filling up my O-Cedar. I'm starting to feel like I'm getting lazy so I need to get the organization part started and all I'm going to be doing is switching out some bins underneath the sink with the new six quart bins. I did add another pair of shoes to my collection. I found a really cute pair of Nikes for real cheap and so did Trevor. We just went to the BX one day to return some um, windshield wiper blades that didn't fit my car and they had the clearance table out right in front as soon as you walk in and we can't ever pass the clearance table so i found another pair of nikes and i love them i'm becoming nike obsessed i can tell um but he spoils me so we both got a new set of shoes so i'm gonna i went ahead and put them in the closet i had to shift stuff over and then i'm gonna use the rest of the bins underneath my sink here and see what all i can use here and then whatever i don't use will end up going in the laundry room and i might end up ordering another like 12 pack of them just so I have them on hand for whenever I do organize the laundry room again. So I'm gonna go ahead and mop the floors and then we'll start organizing what's under the sink here. And then I'll give you an overview of the master bedroom and the bath to show you what all we did in these two spaces with organizing and cleaning. So let's go ahead and finish this up so I can get to the fun part of organizing. I ended up having to grab my O-Cedar because I was out of the Swiffer pads. I didn't realize I was out, which I'm kind of glad that I am because I really want to stop using them. I don't feel like they get my floors upstairs as clean as what I use in my mop bucket when I use my O-Cedar. And I'm going to order some new O-Cedar mop pads. I think I'm going to go ahead and label them like certain ones for bathrooms, certain ones for kitchen, and for like certain main areas so that I know which ones are being used where. And even though like I sanitize my stuff very well, I would like to keep using the same ones in the same area. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the process of organizing this stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of speed it up for you guys and then just give you guys the overview at the very end. One, two, one, two, three. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin for sure I'm 
gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I just wanna feel alive It's just what I do when I'm out So try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna drive the faster car Nothing can break me, no, no, nothing can break me Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna take a trip to Mars Nothing can break me Drive a faster car Lay my troubles to rest Blow the smoke through my cigarette City lights looking fine And I know this is my time now I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I feel alive It's just what I do when I'm out So try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna try So I kept these ones because I love these drawers They are also Sterilite brand I can try and link them down below for you guys I think I got them off Amazon But I love the slide drawers And you can actually take them apart and use them however you want to. Um, but I stacked them three high. And then over here, I kept this basket because I like the open concept of it for like my blow dryer, my straightener, my curling iron. I just put the two makeup palettes that I own in there because usually I have them like sitting next to something. But to keep them organized in a bit, I put it in here. Back here, I have like all my nail stuff and extra lotion for hands, body, you know. Down there is all Trevor's extras. I need to get rid of these i don't know about y'all but i do not enjoy these at all i like the ones that come like in the individual wrapping and these do not like I, I can't find the ones that come in the individual wrapping i don't like when they come like that it really weirds me out like i get super freaked out when things that go there are not individually wrapped when they're just like open in a box it freaks me out um so i need to get rid of those i've never used them i opened it and i said oh no so gotta find someone if they want to take that if not i'm just gonna toss them um, and then I have in here all my extra soap, bar soap, as well as my extra loofahs, and then my microfiber hair towel. My headband is in the going to be in the wash tonight, so I'll add that to this when I need to. And then down here is like extra hair tools and like extra hair, like spray bottles and things like that. And then down here is medical so things that I rarely ever use. Um, bandages from when I had my back surgery thing like outpatient surgery and then my peri bottle and then some cold medicine and cough drops that literally never gets used but it expires this year so it'll be gone if we don't use it before april so I'm not too worried about that but that's down there just in case we need it and then up here i kept this basket because it has the shower head that we need to replace whenever we move out and then the peroxide which doesn't fit in my medicine cabinet and I try to keep it under the sink because I don't know I've always had this like superstition that it has to be like out of sunlight so like I've always kept it under the sink even though it has a brown bottle I keep it under the sink out of the light supposedly it makes it work better I don't know if that's real but that's what I was told and that's what I believe so my peroxide has always sat down here I went ahead and added this little section over here instead of it always being right here in front of my stuff because it always had to move it to move, open these bins I now have a space here to have my bathroom cleaning stuff that I need for the shower. So overall, I really like it. It's, it made it a lot better because these are really nice bins because they open up and you can stack them, but they always seem to fall over and you can't really see what's in them. Whereas this now I can see, if I see soap in here, I know there's loofahs in here. If I see the spray bottle, I know there's extra hair tools, bandages, medicine, cotton balls, nail stuff. Underneath is Trevor's stuff which when he needs it, I'll pull it out. So I know that stuff. So for these drawers from bottom to top, this one is all of our extra uh, toothbrushes 
and Trevor's um, little flossy picks. And then this one is just miscellaneous. It's kind of the things I randomly use quite often that I didn't want to put in my nail kit. So I use my pet egg a lot, my nail kit, um, just some nail clippers, as well as like nail cleaners. I don't know what this is for. Um, this needs to go in that bin, so I'll move that. Um, and then I just put the petroleum, petroleum jelly here because this keeps falling over and this can't fall over. It leaks if it does. This is my ring cleaner for my wedding ring. Um, but yeah, this one is like feminine products, birth control, all that good stuff. And then from top to bottom here, this is my makeup one. So like my extra beauty blenders, makeup, remover, makeup, and you know, facial things. And then here is like scrunchies, hair ties, headbands, hair clips, um, bobby pins, and my hairbrush. And then down here is just the things that I use to do my hair. I don't even use this anymore. I stopped using it. I don't know why. Oh, because I let my hair dry, air dry now. I don't even blow dry my hair anymore. I shower at night now. Um, and then I keep my hair down rather than putting it in a bun. And I let it air dry. And my hair has been growing back where I had all the hair loss I had. I don't even use dry shampoo anymore, really. But I got my hairspray and all that stuff in there as well. But ever since I started um, letting my hair air dry, all I have to do in the morning is either take my straightener or my coloring iron, do my hair real quick, super simple. And I have so much growth coming back from the hair loss I had from when I had Tennyson. Now I'm not gonna go ahead and organize these because I'm just not in the mood. I rarely reuse these drawers. The only thing I ever grab out of here is this and this. Everything else in here is pretty much Tennyson's or just backup nonsense and things I don't really use that often. And then Trevor's drawer is immaculate, so not worried about it. And then the medicine cabinet, again, not much in there. So everything that needs to be in their containers is in their containers, so I'm really not worried about that either. So I ended up getting rid of four of these bins, I think. No, three. Three of these bins. These ones need to be washed. This one used to be in that caddy, but I took it out because I don't have the nail polish is in there anymore to segregate and things like that. So I just went ahead and removed that. They'll be utilized somewhere else. And then now I have extra bins and then I have this extra bin as well, which I might go ahead and give this to Nash because his toy bin just broke this weekend. So I'll probably give that one to him. So I still have some more left. I can utilize in either Tennyson's bathroom or the laundry room or really wherever I want to. So I'm excited to have some more. I have one two, four, six left. So six left out of a 36 count. I think that's really great. I need to get this stuff cleaned up because we brought up more laundry. And then that's stuff that I brought up, um, right after Christmas when I cleaned the room, um, I brought this stuff up and it needs to be thrown away because it's the stuff that people didn't pick up from things I was giving away when I purged the room. So I want to get everything else picked up, put my laundry away off camera, and then I'll give you guys an overview of what the room looked like when I first started. I really hope this video gave you guys some inspiration for organizing, deep cleaning, and just changing out different organization processes. After watching back my footage, I think I'm gonna try something a little different underneath my sink, and I might show you guys that if I try it and like it. But I really hope that in the process of me doing all the organiza organization throughout my bedroom and my bathroom, it gave you guys some kind of ideas of what you could do with your space. And if you liked this video, I really appreciate it if you give it a big thumbs up, as well as hitting that subscribe button if you haven't yet. Also remember to hit that bell notification so you don't miss any future uploads if you're interested in videos like this from me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys next time.